and welcome to join me in cleaning the most shocking home ever. In this heart-wrenching situation, an over 80 years old lady, who is also a great-grandma, resides in a home that has been neglected for quite some time. Surprisingly, her children and grandchildren were completely unaware of the appealing condition of the home. As I learned more about her situation, guys, my heart sank when I discovered that the grandma hadn't had the opportunity to take a shower in years in her own home. This reality of neglect and isolation is just heartbreaking. But we are about to change that. Last week, I deep cleaned the living room and started to clean the bathroom. And now I'm determined to continue and clean the rest of the bathroom. <laughs> nice. So, time to clean! Coming up in this video. For those who missed the previous video, don't worry. I take the time to explain how I came to know about this situation and the circumstances that brought me here to lend a helping hand. I also tell you what happened to grandma after the cleaning process. But hey, if you are new here, let me introduce myself. I'm Aure Katarina and I'm the world's best cleaner and I clean, deep clean, people's houses for free all around the world. Today we are in Finland. I live in Finland, but like I said, I travel all around the world. And next I'm going to the France and after that I'm moving to Miami for a couple of months. I hope I can find their super messy and dirty houses. <laughs> Nowadays, I've combined two of my favorite things, cleaning and helping others. Before my social media career, I worked as a supervisor in a cleaning company, overseeing a team of 30 or 40 cleaners. At the same time, I was also volunteering at a crisis helpline, answering calls from people in distress, usually facing problems and in need of help. I have a passion for helping people because everyone goes through difficulties in life. Everyone. So why wouldn't I help? If I can. Nowadays I clean one home for free each week and have turned this into my profession, which is great. It's the best job in the world for me because I get to make a difference and bring joy to people's lives. There's nothing more fulfilling than combining my skills in cleaning with my passion for helping others. It's truly rewarding to be able to brighten someone's day and make their living environment more comfortable and pleasant. But that is enough about me! Let's get to Dorothy's story. Before that, if you want to support my work, please subscribe to my channel. It means a lot to me more than you can think. Thank you! <laughs> it was a regular Tuesday and I received a Facebook message saying, Hello Auri, I visited my mother today. It was a shocking visit. I went to cut her hair, but her hair was so matted and resembled a helmet-like. It felt awful because I had to wear rubber gloves before I could touch her. She hasn't showered in three years and her hair was so dirty that I couldn't bring myself to touch it with bare hands. 
My mother is unwell, with a lump in her throat almost the size of an egg. Now we are trying to figure out where she can get cleaned up before going to the doctor. The apartment is in a dreadful state. I didn't dare to open the bathroom door. You can't touch anything as all surfaces are covered in grease. I had my shoes on inside the apartment and when I left there were brown marks on my shoes from the snow. After that I visited my daughter, my mother's grandchild and told her about the visit. Following that my daughter made a welfare report. Can you please help us? When I arrived here, I quickly realized that I need some help. So I asked for assistance from my Instagram followers. Two wonderful helpers came and they were amazing. This one of them, Jonna. Jonna took care of taking out a lot of trashes and even cleaned the fridge. We had a really fun time working together and making progress in cleaning the place. <laughs> Jonna was so excited. She was like, oh my god, thank you. Can I really clean the fridge? Oh my god, thank you. <laughs> it was so cute. She is so adorable. And nowadays we are friends. <laughs> Dorothy knew I was coming to clean and she had left me a note saying that she had lost some belongings, including a heart-shaped stove. And guess what, guys? <laughs> Jonna and I found that stone. It was truly incredible. We were like, oh my god, is this a stove? Oh, it was. It was <laughs> super nice. Oh... These yogurts have been here a long time. I don't want to open those. <laughs> There's a lot of undo dishes, like... Hmm, a lot of... I don't know what the granny has eaten. She had some food in the fridge, but not really. I don't know. I don't know. Dorothy has dementia. Which is why she struggles to clean and may not fully understand this all. I guess she is still present in this world, but her condition makes it challenging for her. That's why it's so important and beneficial that we came here to help. It can be really difficult for the family members to clean here because well, imagine knowing that your own mother has been living in such conditions. It can't be easy. But for me, of course, the situation is really sad. But for me, the cleaning and everything, it's easy. It's easy. And I love it. I don't love the story, of course, but I love this dirt. Hmm. Okay, now the sink shines. What's next? The stove isn't that bad. I don't think Dorothy will cook here. I hope she's not. So, yeah. Look at those walls. They are covered with grease. I sprayed some oven cleaner to affect there. But I'm not sure if I'm able to get everything out mm. there's like years of stains for example this stove still have something so i'm putting cling film on top of it and i'm gonna check it out tomorrow when all the stains have melted okay the next day it's looking good don't you think? Now it's really easy to scrub it. Goodbye, stains. See you in next home. Titty. <laughs>
Okay, next comes something really amazing. Forbidden cotton candy again. Wow. <laughs> wow, just wow. I love my job. Dee, 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 dee. <laughs> it's so enjoyable. Wow. Now that the Dorothy situation has been revealed to the family, they will likely take better care of their granny. She should also have a home a nurse to prevent such a situation from happening again. It makes me happy to know that someone is taking care of the situation and ensuring her well-being. Like guys, look at that brown stuff. I'm not sure what that is. I, I believe it's from the outside. It's some type of... Mm, I don't know. There was a lot of cobweb and then like leaves. It's like small leaves from trees. That's weird. Ah. Oh. Oh, oh man. This cleaning is super satisfying. Like I love when that all foam is like brown and when you wipe it, it's white. <laughs> I love it. Oh, this cutting board. Mm -mm -mm. I'm spraying some oven cleaner and I'm letting it sit there for a while so it um, makes the stains softer. What's the last time you visited your grandma or grandpa? Hmm. Uh, mine was last week. Yeah, we saw each other last week and my, grand my grandma is super important to me. I love her so, so much. She has been some of my videos and I spend time with her regularly and yeah, she's just the best. This coffee maker needs a new life. Usually I'm cleaning like everything I can, but sometimes maybe they bought a new things, but I can't really know. So I try to clean as much as I can and maybe they are buying new coffee maker for her. Maybe. Okay, let's see what we have in here. Interesting. These knives have been unused for a while. Let me just tell you that. Okay, oh, what a scrap it! So, oh, all the dirt is coming off so easily. No challenge at all. But now it, it looks nice, don't you think? <laughs> By the way, please comment what is your favorite room to clean? I want to know because mine is kitchen and bathroom. If I have to choose kitchen wins, yeah. What is yours? I want to know, please comment and let me know why. And I want to, if, you, if your favorite room to clean is uh, your bedroom, I, I definitely want to know why, because bedroom, mm, there's mostly like dust and nothing else. So I want to know if that is you. <laughs> that That was fun. So <laughs> I wanna know why. <laughs> why why something is your favorite thing or room to clean? Yeah. Oh. And would you wanna clean a house like this? With me. <laughs> or on your own. <laughs> oh, look at the difference. These doors are like Mm, orange and the other one is yellow <laughs> oh man now Yonna is washing the floor and to be honest 
I don't really know what color this floor even is. <laughs> it's covered with filth. But now, my friends, I must tell you that Dorothy never got to see her home clean. She went to the doctor and passed away in the hospital next day after the cleaning. Unfortunately, she never got to know that I found all those missing items for her. But at least I was able to help the family. Because now they work here is much more easier. Because of course they have to clean the entire apartment when their grandma has passed away. I still hope you enjoyed this video because I really love this cleaning process even though the end isn't the best one. But here comes the before and after pictures. They are amazing. This bathroom is the most shocking still. It... <laughs> I don't know. But look at it now. It's so pretty beautiful. I love it. I even bought new toothbrushes for the Dorothy. But it's okay. <laughs> I love it. And the living room. Ooh, such a filthy place. <laughs> but not anymore. Look, it's so comfy. Looking nice. Yeah. Love it. Guys, enjoy the rest of the before and after pictures, because now I'm on my way to the next dirty home. See you next week. Love you all. Bye bye. <laughs>